Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode one of a new video series where we're taking a look at all the different software put out by On1, specifically Photo 10. And the really cool thing about Photo 10 is that it works as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop, but it also is a standalone product. So those of you that do not own Photoshop or Lightroom might be interested in Photo 10. And what we're going to do in this video, we're just going to take a general look at the software and some of the features it has. We're not going to get too specific about any one thing in this video, but in subsequent videos, we'll be covering things much more in depth. Now, what we're looking at now is their browse module. This is pretty much kind of like Lightroom's library module. And if you're using On One Photo 10 as a standalone product, you would likely start here. And as you can see, it's kind of laid out a little bit like Lightroom. In the middle, we have all the images that are in a specific folder that we have selected. To the left, we have local drives listed. I have a Lightroom drive plugged into this computer, and then I have the internal Macintosh hard drive. Below that, we have our cloud storage locations. So anything that you might have plugged into the computer or drives or anything would all be showing up here. All the different cloud storage services you use would show up here. You should be able to find your images very easily uh, by drilling down from one of these points. If you have a folder that you you know use a lot, that that's where your images or your go-to images are kept, you could drag that folder up here to favorites and then it's more easily accessed. Um, Below that, you could create albums. Those are kind of like collections in Lightroom, and we'll be doing that in future episodes. Now, with each image, you could give it a star rating, a color code, or you could favorite it. And once you start doing that to your images, you have some really powerful search tools. So you could search by your favorite images, or a, a given star rating, or a color code. And uh, that should help you find images um, very, very easily in on one photo 10 or images basically that are on your hard drive um, you could um, down here anything recent uh, folders that you happen to work on images on recently which show up down here over to the right at the top we have camera and lens information below that we have metadata below that we could show the exif data or the iptc data if you so choose and this is really it for the browse module it's pretty cool it's very straightforward and it's very easy to work in now if there is an image here and you want to do some processing on it this is where we go from the browse module into some of the other modules and they're listed over here as you can see right now we're in the browse module and if you just hover over anything just about in on one photo 10 you'll get a tooltip pop up and this helps you considerably below that we have on one enhance that's going to be like the develop module in lightroom Below that, we have On One Effects. This is where you could do a lot of different effects to your image from, I mean, all different kinds of things, uh, hundreds of different things I, I believe you could do with um, On One Effects. Below that, we have On One Portrait, so you could do some portrait processing, um, you know, skin, eyes, stuff like that with On One Portrait. Below that, we have layers, and with layers, you could do all the different things that you might be able to do in Photoshop using layers, um, from like swapping out a sky, um, doing different types of things that uh, would, would require a layer where you would have to mask out part of the layer, and so on. Below that is resize, where you could actually resize an image. I use this specifically for printing. Um, it does a great job especially if you have to upsize an image. Um, and we'll be covering that in a future episode. I really am impressed with all these modules. And just for the heck of it, I think we're going to go in to um, On One Enhance just to show you how you go from the Browse module into any of these other modules. And again, we're not going to be doing anything too uh, in-depth or specific in On One Enhance right now. I just want to show you how this works. Now when you do it, you come up with this. It's, it's a RAW file that I have in the folder. We're going to edit a copy of the RAW file 
and I'm going to use uh, these defaults here and we're going to click OK. And what it does, it creates this Photoshop file. Uh, that's what I have it creating. You can create a Photoshop PSD file or a TIFF file. And now it opens up in um, on one photo enhance. And you can see it's pretty similar to the develop module of Lightroom. We have these sliders over here, uh, exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights, whites, blacks. We have a detail slider. Then we have another tab down here with uh, color temperature. Then down here we could add a vignette, sharpening, do some noise reduction. And it works for those of you that use Lightroom or use Adobe Camera Raw, this works very similarly. So you could just you know open up your shadows, bring down your highlights, you could adjust your white point, your black point. And again, I'm not doing anything very specific right now. I just want to show you how this um, you might want to go about using this. Uh, you could affect color temperature if you want. Let's increase saturation a little bit and some vibrance. And this is a really cool feature. It has a checkbox here where you could reduce vibrance on the skin. A lot of times you're turning saturation and vibrance up because you want to um, really enhance maybe the foliage or the background to somebody that is in the scene, but you don't want to make their face rosy red or anything like that. So you could check that box for that. I must, uh, I just want to point out too that it has these boxes here to do just auto settings where you'll let on one do the adjusting for you. Also up here, which I have the box closed, there's a little quick fix area here where it's just a one click to do auto tone, auto color, fix focus, and stuff like that. And again, we'll get all into all of this more depth in um, future videos. Then we could go down to the vignette tab and we could add a strong vignette, let's say. I, although I prefer subtle vignettes uh, like that. There has an advanced little expose triangle there where you could actually uh, adjust this, the vignette more specifically to your liking. We have sharpening here and we could just fix focus uh, or sharpen for screen or sharpen for print. And in this case, we're going to sharpen for screen has an, again an advanced area below that where you could actually um, adjust the um, sharpening more specifically for the way you want the image to be. We have a noise reduction area here and again you have these kind of quick areas here where you could do some subtle noise reduction or moderate noise reduction or you could dial in specific specific to your needs from there. And uh, so you could see it's, it's similar to the develop module in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. Now from here, you might say, okay, this is processed, now I want to do some effects to it. So from here, you would click this FX uh, button right here. And this will bring um, the image into the effects module. Now again, all these are available um, as plugins in Lightroom and Photoshop, and I'm just using it as a standalone right now to demo this video. Now we have these specific presets on the left. We have filters over here on the right. So you could do, you know, all these different types of things like a, a grunge look, and it gives you previews of what this grunge look might look like. So you could just pick like straight grunge like that. And then once you click on it, it will show it there and that looks not good. So I don't like that. So um, we could reset right there. And we could go back to different presets. Um, so again, I mean, there's all these different types of um, effects that you could do to your image. So, um, you know, texturizer, vignette, uh, lots of different black and white uh, things, bleach bypass, an antique looks. You could give these uh, kind of autochrome cool look. Uh, to the image, which might work for this image, something like that. Auto chrome green. I mean, you could go on and on and on and on here. You, there's all different types of things. And this would probably be another, you know, step in your um, processing process. And again, when you pick one of these filters and or one of the presets, you could come in here and more specifically adjust things to your liking.
So that's it for this video. I wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet and just give you an introduction to On One Photo 10. There really is a lot to this software, and we just touched on um, On One Enhance and On One Effects. Um, we didn't really do, you know, there's a whole portrait module, stuff you could do with portraits, and then stuff you could do with layers, and then the resize module as well. And we'll be getting into all of this in future videos. Um, guys, have any suggestions, be sure to email me. I'll have links below to the product, which will uh, you could click through and find it more easily. All right. That's it. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.